Okay, during this video, I'm going to try to show you how to navigate your way through to signing in for IXL and just some of the things that we'll be using on this program for our math skills. Uh, follow the instructions, so go ahead and put in the username of Henwood J at Silverado and then the password of Henwood20. Just make sure the H is capitalized. Okay, once you're signed in, you'll come to a main screen that looks like this. Uh, for you, you're mostly going to be in the learning tab right here. And because we're going to be focused on math, we're going to be clicking on the triangle here. You'll notice that there's other subjects, and you, most of you have probably seen this in another class at some point. Uh, so for our class, we will be doing a variety of different subjects. No, we won't get into pre-calculus and calculus, but uh, as the semester goes on, we typically start around the 7th, 8th grade level and work our way up to some algebra and some geometry topics. Uh, let's just give an example of what it would look like. You, you might for the day be assigned 7th grade math, letter J, 3. It says, how do you write an equivalent ratio? So once you click, it'll start you off with a question. Find the number that makes the ratio equivalent 1 to 5. Well, let's say I have no idea what's going on, and I think, uh, why not 11? I hit Submit. It'll actually go through and tell me why I got it wrong, and then give me an explanation as to how I could do this question. In the explanation, it says compare your first numbers, the 1 and the 6. To get from 1 to 6, I multiplied by 6. So I should be taking my second number of the ratio and ultimately multiplying it by 6 to get to 30. So now I use that. 1 to 7 is 7, so 8 times 7 would be 56. Now watch over here on your screen on the right-hand side. You see that we already answered a question and got it wrong. Our time is going, and we didn't get any points for that question. However, when I do hit Submit, you'll see not only a compliment, your points go up, your time continues, and it tracks how many questions you've answered. Uh, what I would like you to do with this website is just use it as a practice tool.